Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson with Miss Rafa. Today we're going to start with a new unit, microorganisms. We're going to start with the first skill, reading. So open your student book and let's get started. Biology, microorganisms, let's start with a preview, how clean is the world around us, what everyday things can carry germs, When you hear the words viruses or bacteria, what does it bring to your mind? Now let's see the reading. We're going to start with some vocabulary. Causative agents. Causative agents. Causative agents. Infectious diseases. Infectious diseases. Infectious diseases. Bacterium. Bacterium, bacterium, virus, 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 symptoms, symptoms, symptoms. Organisms, 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 gut, 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 digest food, digest food. Digest food. Harmful. 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 Decomposing. 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 Converting, converting, converting. Nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen. Swap, swap. Swap Host 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 Multiply 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 Cell 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 Hijacking 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 Viral infections Viral infections 
viral infections pneumonia 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 strep throat strep throat strep throat sambol 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 urine 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 Now let's read the lesson. Viruses and bacteria. The two most common causative agents of infectious diseases are the virus and the bacterium. They both are tiny to be seen by the naked eye. They can cause similar symptoms and are often spread in the same way. Bacteria are living organisms, but viruses aren't. A bacterium is a single complex cell. It can survive on its own, inside or outside the body. This allows bacteria to live in many places, soil, water, plants, and the human body. Most bacteria aren't harmful, we have many bacteria on and inside our body, especially in the gut to help digest food. They also serve many vital roles in nature by decomposing organic matter and by converting nitrogen to chemicals usable by plants. On the other hand, viruses are smaller and errant cells. Unlike bacteria, they need a host, such as a human or an animal to multiply. Viruses only grow and reproduce inside the host cells they infect. Their life involves the hijacking of the biochemical activities of a living cell. Viruses and bacteria differ in how they cause infections. As the name suggests, viruses cause viral infections, whereas bacteria cause bacterial infections. Viruses infect a host cell and then multiply by the thousands, leaving the host and infecting other cells of the body. Diseases caused by a viral infection include influenza, common cold, flu, AIDS and COVID-19. Bacteria, on the other hand, have a more varied operation 
and will often infect when the right opportunity arises. Bacterial infections include pneumonia, strep throat, ear infection, and food poisoning. In fact, it's very important to know whether bacteria or viruses cause an infection. Because their treatments differ, it can be very difficult to know what causes an infection because viral and bacterial infections can cause similar symptoms. Doctors need a sample of your urine, blood, or a swab from your nose or throat to see what infection you have. Okay now, let's answer the questions. Answer the following questions about the text above. Why can't viruses and bacteria be seen by the naked eye? Because they are tiny. Where can bacteria survive? They can survive on its own, inside or outside the body. In what ways are bacteria useful for nature? By decomposing organic matter, and by converting nitrogen to chemicals usable by plants. What do viruses require to multiply? They need a host such as a human or an animal to multiply. Why is it difficult to know what causes an infection? Because viral and bacterial infections can cause similar symptoms. What do the words in bold, it and they in the text refer to? It refers to bacterium. They refers to viruses. Question B. Match the words with their meanings. Positive, pneumonia, symptom, gut, decompose, digest, hijack, swab. Causative. Acting as the cause of something. Pneumonia. An acute inflammation of the lungs. Symptom. A sign that something exists, especially bad. Gut. A tube in the body through which food passes when it leaves the stomach. 
decompose. To destroy gradually by natural chemical processes. Digest. To change food you have just eaten into substances that your body can use. Hijack. Attack to control something. Swab. A small amount of substance that is taken from someone's body in order to test it. Question C. Complete the following sentences with information from the text. The gut has many bacteria too. Help digest food. Because the treatment of viruses and bacteria differs, it's important too. Know whether bacteria or viruses cause an infection. The life of viruses needs the hijacking of the biochemical activities of a living cell. Pneumonia is caused by bacteria. That's everything for today. Thank you very much. See you next lesson.